Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate, bringing the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Today we're in the town of Avon, Indiana. This is the first suburb on the west side of Indianapolis on the inner ring, and it's grown from a sleepy little crossroads to uh, now it's marching forward with a ton of pomp and circumstance. Now, Avon High School has had a tremendous marching band program for several decades, winning multiple state titles and filling hallways with uh, trophy cases filled with trophies and other awards. And get this, in just the past year alone, They've been crowned state champions, Band of America Grand National Champions, and Champions of the Winter Guard International. Hey, and if that wasn't enough, Macy's just named them to appear in the iconic Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade 2024. Hey, if you have a young person in your family who's interested in the band, Avon, Indiana just might be the place that you want to take a good hard look at. Hey, before we delve into the pros and cons of living in Avon, Indiana, uh, be sure to stick around to the end and uh, I'm gonna share what's going on in the local market right now, this week, here and now, who the winners are and who the losers are. The town of Avon, Indiana is located just uh, 15 minutes west of Indianapolis downtown which is the, uh, not only the state capital, but the state's largest city. I-74 runs uh, oh, just north of here about five minutes, and it r connects from, oh, say, the Quad Cities in Champaign, Illinois, over to Cincinnati, Ohio. Just about five minutes south is I-70, and going one way will take you to St. Louis, and going the other way will take you to Columbus, Ohio. We're just about five minutes from I-465, which is the Beltway, and uh, from there you can get anywhere in the Indianapolis metro area that you want to go. It'll also link up with I-65 which will take you north to Chicago or south to Louisville or I-69 which will take you up towards Detroit or uh, down towards Evansville, Indiana and points south. Although Avon was settled in 1830, by the 1950s, it still only had three businesses, if you can imagine that. But by the year 2000, the population had grown to 6,000. And then it began growing very rapidly, and today it sports over 25,000 residents. And hey, it's still growing strong, and there's now over 1,000 businesses. There are a lot of jobs that can be found just, oh, within 10 or 20 minutes, either uh, along I-465, the Beltway, or down around the airport, which is, I don't know, five, 10 minutes away. Chief employers include uh, school system, government, uh, Harlem Bakeries, and Duke Energy. And crime is much lower in Avon than it is in nearby Indianapolis, and that is one reason that people are moving out of Indianapolis. Another hot topic for most people when they're considering a relocation is uh, hospitals and healthcare. Avon has two hospitals. It has one with the IU Health System and also one with Hendricks Regional Health. Another hot topic when it comes to uh, thinking about making a big move, people want to know what the local schools are like. That's true even if they don't have school-aged children. The Avon Community Schools Corporation has six elementary schools, two middle schools, and the high school that we're looking at now uh, they've got an enrollment of 3342 and they've got some building projects going on as the enrollment uh, increases as the community continues to grow. The system is rated A by niche.com and it's ranked number 9 out of 290 public uh, school systems in the state of Indiana. That puts it in the top 4% which is just really, really good. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. State Highway 36 is the main east-west corridor running through the town of Avon. It is just loaded for mile upon mile with big box stores. Think Costco like what we have behind us here and then think Dick's Sporting Goods, Lowe's, Menards, Myers, Rural King, Super Target, and of course, Walmart. Hey, or maybe your style runs to Total Wine. And that's just to name the major players. There are more stores and shops here in Avon, Indiana, especially along Highway 36 here, than even the most adventuresome shopper could get the, through the doors of. This is called like Black Friday heaven, okay? Along with all the uh, shops here in Avon, there are a ton of restaurants. Most of them are chains, but uh, one that's not, and it's one of my favorites here in town, is Charbonneau's. It features a fabulous menu of dishes inspired by Tuscany. It's one of the first Cunningham Group restaurants. They are a local privately held company which started in neighboring Brownsburg and opened Charbonneau's in 2001. Hey, 
you can't go wrong with a Cunningham restaurant. Okay, we're gonna talk housing. I mean, after all, this is a housing channel. There were 878 homes that sold in the Avon market in the past year. They ranged in sale price from 90,000 to 900,000. The median price was 344,000. And so uh, let's take a look and see what you get for 344. Standing in front of uh, 7060 Bridgemont Court, this one's listed by Diverse Property Solutions. And FYI, I can help you with any property that's for sale in the state, regardless of who the broker is. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath with new updates throughout the home. It's got granite countertops and newer appliances and a large center island. And get this, the master bedroom boasts a gas fireplace and cathedral ceilings and a top of the line California closet. Wow, that's some ensuite. Hey, you had a two car garage plus the outdoors with screened in porch and fully fenced backyard. Okay, the ticket on this fully updated home with the deluxe master bedroom is 342,500. If you'd like to see this or any other house that's for sale in the market or that you see an ad for or a posting online, just uh, give me a quick call or text and I'll be glad to give you the top of the line service. Make it a great day now. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Hey, the numbers are in for July and I can tell you we're seeing a late summer surge. And you know what? I didn't have to look at the Board of Realtor numbers to know that. All I had to do was look at my own business. This past month, I spent 10 days in the Canadian wilderness. We were six hours from the nearest town. We had no cell phone service, no Netflix, if you can imagine, and no Wi-Fi. In fact, we had no running water, no furnace, no central air, and the only electricity we had came from a generator. But hey, I had a lot going on business-wise, so I did something I've never done before. I went and rented a Starlink satellite. And you know what? I was able to sell a house, a duplex, and a 66 acre piece of prime development ground. So when I got home, I had a busy month this past month closing transactions and the surge did not let up. But hey, enough about me. Let's dive into those numbers. For the 16 county central Indiana area, prices are up 2% from a year ago and closings and new listings were both up. Homes are selling in 13 days on average versus like 11 days a year ago, and they're selling at just 1% less than list price on average. Inventory remains tighter than we'd like to see, but get this, it's 24% better than a year ago. Now that's a huge win. In Hamilton County, the median price is down 2%, but closings and new listings, they showed great improvement. They pushed inventory up a whopping 28%. And homes are selling now in 11 days versus seven days a year ago. And they're going off at just about 1% below asking price. So what's working in the real world? Here's what I've seen. For sellers, I found that being a little bit flexible and putting a deal together and a whole lot patient has resulted in deals going down. We were able to put that two and a half million dollar land deal together with a whole lot of creativity, but it sold for cash and get this, it went down in an amazingly short period of just 34 days. And on that duplex, we won the inspection battle. And with that house, we were both patient and creative and did a workaround on the FHA anti-flipping rule. Okay, on the buy side, the difference between winners and losers this past month, drum roll, the winners came ready to play. They had their minds right. So when they did find the house that they were looking for, they didn't hold back. They didn't get all squeamish. They didn't have to think about it. They knew they'd found the house and they wanted it. So we went to work. We wrote up offers that were the most attractive to the seller, but that didn't give our side away. And then we just rolled up our shirt sleeves and went to work to bring that deal home. Now, if you'd like that kind of service, just give me a quick call or text and make it a great day now. If you're considering relocating to the greater Indianapolis area or moving anywhere within central Indiana, be sure to tune in every week to learn all there is to know about real estate and living in Indiana. Whether you're buying or selling, please keep in mind, I work harder to make good things happen. Hey, make it a great day now. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to watch this next clip right now.